This is All India Radio. Children sir. In today's children's hour, we have with us Amna, your friend. She is a poetess and is studying in 8th standard in Bishop Cotton Girls School. Do you know that Amna has the youngest poet record in her name? Let us talk to her and find out more about Amna. Hello Amna. Hi, my name is Amna. Huh? I study in 8th standard in Bishop Cotton Girls School, Bangalore. Um, I write poems and I love reading books. And uh, in my family, there are my parents and my grandparents. My mom is very supportive and encouraging in this journey of poems. And then uh, about my day-to-day life, my day starts at 5.45 and then I get up for my yoga. And then after my breakfast and daily chores, I, uh, I go for my online classes. After it ends my lunch and then my homework and tuitions. And in the evenings, I read books if I have time. And of course, write poems. Okay, uh, we have been telling your friends that you are a poetess and we started with your talk. Let us listen to one of your poetry. Sure. So the poem is Humanity, the language of the soul. Humanity, the greatest attribute for gentleness we should distribute. To the harmony and mercy we contribute, being empathetic among is the biggest tribute. Humanity is living with simplicity, sharing everything in our capacity. Loving and uniting people in diversity, being compassionate during crisis of intensity. Humanity is an altruistic virtue, the path of goodness to pursue. And tenderness to the needy will ensue, for practicing humanity is humankind's biggest value. Humanity is the quality of being humane, its morality to attain. Benevolence to obtain in the end, people with humanity will remain. As I was observing in your poetry, uh for every stanza you have uh, you have rhymed yeah right the last word you have rhymed so how do you write poetry um uh, mostly i feel uh, free to express my thoughts it's not necessary to rhyme in most of the cases um so it's not forced when uh, it comes out naturally then it rhymes but uh, when it doesn't it's fine because it's just your thoughts and your emotions flowing out in words uh, when did you write your first poetry, actually? It was during the first lockdown in the pandemic, April 4th of 2020. When I was getting bored, my mom said, you read so much of books, why not write poems? So you thought of writing it? Yes. Expressing yourself? In words. Uh, when you wrote for the first time, whom did you show it to? My mom. Then she was the one who encouraged me to keep writing and never stop. Uh, actually, uh, I wanted to ask you, did you show it to any of the poets? Um, no. Regarding uh, the writing. I showed it to my mom's friend oh, who was very fluent and good with the language and then he corrected or edited my grammatical errors. But uh, the meter was not changed by the person who scrutinized. No, he okay. didn't um, change the flow of the thoughts. He just made it grammatically correct. Okay. Uh, then uh, do you dream a lot? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> because poetry comes from dream, they say. Yes, very true. Uh, what all do you dream about? Mostly I dream about the ways I could improve my poems or the ideas for the poems or the thoughts about it. Do you fly in the clouds? Yeah, when I write fantasy poems, I twirl in the clouds and flow in the sky. Uh, do you like Walt Disney's? Mm, fiction and non-fiction, no. No. You like only poems? Yes. Uh, uh, did you like the musical opera of Walt Disney? Um, no, I didn't f- quite follow it. You didn't follow it. Okay. Uh, which uh, musical opera do you follow? Do you follow? Music uh, as a genre, I follow Indian artists. Okay. Uh, because uh, you write English poetry, 
Uh, I wanted to know, do you follow any particular authors? Authors? Uh, yes, I do. Quite a few like Ruskin Bond, Preeti Shinoi, Sudha Murthy Ji and then uh, John Green. And John Green I like because of his narrative. It's so real and it does not seem uh, to be fake. The way his uh, characters have depth in their character sketch and the uh, way all the protagonists meet them naturally. Because I haven't read Green, I couldn't understand a single thing about what you said. Can you elaborate? Yeah, sure. This, uh, the novel is The Fault in Our Stars. The story goes around uh, two cancer patients, one who is hopeless about the situation and the one who is so optimistic about it. But uh, unfortunately, in the end, the one who is optimistic about it meets his um, death. Uh, and then uh, one who seems so uh, forlorn with the situation tries to gather courage and start a new life. What did you like about it? I like the fact that it's not uh, conceptualized such that uh, it renders to be fake. It's so true to its nature and it what uh, goes on in real life. Mm, uh, you could uh, link it with the day-to-day incidents which you see? Yes. Okay. Uh, so your poetry is more uh, of uh, factual things? Yes, reality. Reality. And you don't like fantasy? I do like dreaming about it, but at one point of the time, the dream um, blasts and then there's reality to face. Correct. It's very true. Actually, they say uh, to dream is good, but to realize the dream is more important. That's what yes, you indeed. are. Okay, Amna. Uh, uh, Keith Shelley Wordsworth, do you know any of these nature poets? I've come across their poems in social media and quite a few websites, but I have not followed. I've read them thoroughly to um, judge or criticize their works mm-hmm. or elaborate on it. Because Shelley is more known as a nature poet. Yes. And uh, Wordsworth's sonnets are very famous. And even Robert Frost's nature poems. True. So you want to read any of these uh, any time of... Yeah, I plan to uh, read about them in the near future. Oh, what all books do you have actually? Um, I have books uh, from Preeti Shinoi and Ren Ruskin Bon. I have quite a few collections of his. Um, his uh, books are most on day-to-day lives in the mountains. It's like a breath of fresh air so far from the city uh, hubbubs. And then Sudhamurti for the mythological facts like the Mahabharat. And then I do follow books by uh, Shashi Taru too. And uh, more to that, I like books by Jeff Kinney that chronicles the life of uh, um, middle gra- uh, school graders of children and then even um, Dog Diaries by Rachel Venny Vassell of a young teenage girl and her life. Mm-hmm. Now, when you write poetry, do you show this poetry to your class teachers? Yes, some of them I read it out to my class teachers, I forward it to them and they are quite appreciative about it. Who are they? My English teachers mostly. Um... Uh, they are quite appreciative and they motivate me to write. Um, and my English teacher, Mrs. Uh, Preeti John Matthew, uh, is the one who uh, keeps me so um, inspired to keep on writing. And Miss Juliet was the one who started me on the journey of writing. As she was the one when I first attended an essay on a uh, topic, she told me to continue writing because I had a gift for it. Uh, what does What is the reaction of your friends? They are so um, appreciative and uh, they make me feel gratified with the compliments and words. And uh, they are so supporting and encouraging. And even my principal too, uh, she was the one who encourages me, inspires me and has always been there like a rock. Uh, so your school, your friends, your family, everybody have been supportive of your writing. Yes, I feel blessed to have them in my life. True, because when you dream something and when you want to achieve something, that support is required for children, isn't it? Yes, very true. (laughs) We have come to a point where perhaps your friends want to listen to one more of your poetry. Sure. So the poem goes like, Woman, a positive inspiration. A woman is generous. Her life is gracious. With a mind that's courageous, with her sacrifices are tremendous. A woman is appreciative, with passion that is innovative. Any time her act is cooperative, her soul is meditative. A woman's life is of endurance, living with perseverance, with awing intelligence and a caring is elegance. Women are faithful, they make everything delightful, their deeds are trustful. 
to women we should be grateful for the world she is zestful be proud to be a woman and who was the woman you are seeing when you wrote this poem my mom she is my only inspiration <laughs> for this poem so uh, you have been telling about your mother what does she do? um she is an of a government officer and then uh, she is also been the one who uh, started me on this journey and has been the force which pushes me i just write the poems but day and night she is the one who corrects it edits it and goes on with the publishing work and even uh, talks with the persons concerned so she has seen to it that your books get published yes okay i'm going to tell us about your first book uh my first book title echoes of soulful poems which was titled for a reason because it echoes the poems that came out from the soul so they were not a uh, filter they were just pure as fresh as morning dew and they were so uh, resounding with the current situation then about how the negativity was all around and we are trying to or we crave for some positivity and it was basically our thoughts and our uh, ideology then and for my book echoes of soulful poems my first book the foreword was given by uh, the moon man of india the distinguished indian scientist dr m annadurai sir and he had very nicely described the book with his uh, beautiful words uh you were still in 6th standard when uh, this book was written yes i was in 6th okay and a function was organized to publish this book yes a ceremony was organized and then it was quite a warm uh, ceremony where it was it saw in attendance was the then education minister and then the poet uh, padmashri dodrange gowda sir and then uh, the famous author jogi sir and then my respected principal dr mrs lavanya mitrin ma'am and then uh, uh, the education minister then also complimented in his speech of how um, in my Sixth standard, I started writing poems and found optimism in them instead of the pessimism all around. And even the poet, uh, Doctor Dodrange Gowda sir, also complimented me of uh, writing such resounding poems in such a young age. True, because uh, the lockdown period was a period when uh, most of the minds went blank. Yes, uh, they were all uh, disturbed with the silence and. Uh, uh the deaths that were going all around and there was lot of uh, depression yes but uh, your poetry might have come as a breeze of positivity <laughs> that's what i was hopeful for would bring nice very nice because uh, even in that situation you could think of something very nice and your thoughts were pure and uh, you could think of because a poetry is something which uh, refreshes the mind which refreshes the heart yes it reflects the mind uh, when we read poetry actually we get energized so that energy you could uh, put it into yourself and your pen and paper were doing all the work spreading the energy all through the society that is something nice yes it was <laughs> wonderful uh, you have told us about your first book so how many poems are there by the way there are about 61 poems of varied themes mostly the pandemic about family the nature friendship about weather seasons and everything okay uh, now you are going to read about uh, which one am um, i read my first poem corona the new outbreak so it goes like this silently it came violently it spread no one to blame life is now hanging by a thread no movement nor any noise living in contentment where there exists no choice let us come together for our nation let us abide by one another in this situation government work day and night for our better world do your contribution with a lot of devotion we can stop corona when we help them to help us everything the flora and the fauna has come to stand still not a time to fall hill stop spreading fake messages please don't encourage voyages stay home stay safe you know that uh, we are uh, talking about third wave and uh, the covid spreading in different parts of the world perhaps your message will help them and uh, ho- hope at least very soon the world will be out of covid yes everyone prays for that yeah true uh, so amna uh, uh, this is the only book written by you um no my second book is uh, due to be published the next month hmm about 
it's about uh it's titled the world amidst the words it's um uh, it's the same the pandemic the thoughts the experiences even humor and horror about god about nature how we have to conserve nature and uh, the copyright is given to the publisher or yourself um the copyright is given to me okay so to- you perhaps you can read one of the poems from your second book Okay so this poem is from my second book titled The Mother Earth The Sublime Unexplored The Earth a divine planet where millions of beings dwell from vivisant mountains to umber deserts its beauty will have us under its spell everything its azure ocean swell the green forests and deep ravine adds to earth attractive melt the earth is generous from arid plateaus to erupting volcanoes it indeed is one of us By exploiting is it it honeywis we shall conserve it and make it more prosperous the earth is as pure as snow it extends from north to south and takes places you never know it is tarried from eons ago residing on it we shall succor it to burgeon and grow from the eaves soaring overhead to the trees wide spread the earth is amazingly vast its flawless has everything from island to mass it's an exceptional planet we could ever last as tech conserve preserve give them the love the earth deserve as you were reading this i could think of thorudat thank <laughs> that's the biggest compliment really because uh, i have been influenced by thoru and uh, as you were reading it out i recalled uh, the poems written by her and uh, the language and the presentation it sounds so very similar perhaps you will grow and become the second toru of india <laughs> that's such a huge compliment and big responsibility <laughs> so uh, amna uh, uh, have you participated in any of the competitions um no not any but i have sent my nominations uh, for uh, one competition uh, the great anthology of india of which my uh, poem was published in the collection of poems okay and uh, as i was telling your friends in the beginning of the program i said you have uh, the uh, record as the youngest poetess yes so when was it done and uh, what was the record about can you give us the details yes so the record was uh, as india book of records as the youngest poetess in india so india book of records awarded you with the youngest poetess award yes okay and then uh, most of the records have been uh, managed by my mom as she has nomination but the record was set on uh, june 27th of 2021 and then uh, they had gifted us the certificate a medal and a pen and then the asia book of records i was uh, titled as the grandmaster of uh, for writing poems at such a young age and then uh, in uh, kautilya awards of the youngest poetess uh, of india i was titled uh by the his excellency governor of goa mm-hmm. and i was also awarded in my native by the gram panchayat which is your native place mandya mandya oh you are from mandya yes and your grandparents stay there yes okay do you like mandya better or bangalore yes for the vacations i like to go there in the lust fields mhm and the fresh breeze and the soil okay uh, we have been uh, listening to amna as an adult who writes poems and who is very mature and all that as a child what does amna do i am like any other young kid i like uh, reading books listening to music uh, by indian artists and then i do my school work and that's about my entity sports um not so much um well versed in sports but i do like badminton Uh, and uh, what is your uh, sports time every day do you play any games in the day no not as such but in the weekends maybe uh-huh you go out with your friends no with my mom <laughs> and so your mom is your guide your mentor yes. and uh, she is your manager too because she <laughs> has been managing all this yes like she is my everything of my whole existence <laughs> and she is your friend also yes the best friend <laughs> because she plays with you yes uh who are your friends in your surroundings um in my neighborhood there aren't much uh, kids uh, such they're mostly adults and people of other age groups but since it's online i can't meet my friends so it's mostly texting them how has been the experience of being online 
because uh, during offline uh, you would go and meet your friends in school so what difference does it make it to your life yeah the communication gap like you know, during the normal days if school we would meet every day the physical interactions would be much more than now and now it's just texting and then emotions can't be you know um comprehended by messages so it's more of a bane than a boon but in spite of that you have been spreading uh, positivity all around with your poetry yes i try <laughs> as much as i can to in turn you have been putting positivity into yourself also yes through this huh? okay amna so before we conclude let us listen to one more of your poem yeah sure it's for the great indian anthology the poem is awaiting the rainbow better living in distrust than having trust broken better living in solitude than having one soul broken better living half heartedly than a heart he made shattered better of practical than a beautiful dream being crashed some i see this anguish while some see the hidden good it's on you what i should see don't quit there's a purpose still awaiting to set your baggage free better a little storm than a massive hurricane wait for a rainbow after a bitter sweet pain better a bout of turmoil than an anxious period of nothing better a chaotic journey of exclamatory than a monotonous spear of a full stop very nice uh, thank you amna for being part of uh, this program in all india radio and uh, as i could see you were attending classes and uh, you attend the recording also uh, thank you for being with us and uh, giving it was him- my pleasure i loved uh, doing this interview happy to have met you and perhaps your friends are also enjoying they must be thinking we may also become amna one day by writing some poetry <laughs> they may they can do more than me <laughs> okay thank you thank you so much dear children that was amna your friend who has got a record of english poetess <laughs>